Hey guys, it's Lorraine with Brand Name Closet, formerly Vintage Hippie Shop. I decided to change my name to Brand Name Closet because that is the name of my eBay store and that's where I sell most of my items. So I wanted to go through what has sold for the last seven days from April 7th to today. The 13th. I hope everybody's well. Um, it's still crazy out there, but we just have to do what we can to stay safe and keep everyone around us safe. So I hope you all had a good Easter. Hours was um, spent at home alone and uh, FaceTime videos with my kids and my family. So it wasn't so bad. Anyway, let's get to what sold last week. Um, I'm doing for seven days. Most sellers do for like the weekend, but I sell all through the week. So I want to show everything because I'm not a huge eBay seller and I don't have a ton of items. So anyway, this first thing that sold was a collector's plate. It's from Bradford Exchange. Not a great seller, but I only paid a dollar for several of these plates. So... This was a best offer for $10, and I accepted it, and the buyer paid shipping. This sold today, I think, um, an Avenue Women's Maxi Dress. It's a plus size, really cute, great for the summer. Uh, the person that bought this sent me an offer for $14, and I took that. I think I only paid... Uh, Three fifty for this, I think. Um, I can't remember. It might have been on the twenty-five cent rack at uh, our thrift store, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. I've been listing a lot of stuff, so there we go. Sold for fourteen plus shipping. These are Mac Weldon shorts. I found them at Salvation Army for three fifty. And when I looked them up, I saw that they were selling for about $30, <clears throat> I'm sorry, in um, used condition. So um, these were used, and I had them listed for $32.99 plus shipping and sent offers out for $28. And so the buyer picked it up for that plus shipping. This was a kitchen pepper saver. These are cool. I have an onion saver that I like to use, but this is for bell peppers. If you don't use the whole pepper in a meal, you can save it in these little containers, and they're pretty good. They do keep things fresh. I paid 50 cents for this uh, from a grocery store that was clearancing out all their summer stuff, so 50 cents. Sold it for $4.99 plus shipping. This is a little hand-carved penguin. Really cute. Picked him up at a little side-of-the-road thrift store, a really small thrift store, about two hours away from me. And I paid $3 for him, and he sold for $12.99. And once again, I uh, forgot to charge for shipping. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I didn't make very much money off of this. Oh, well. Live and learn. Uh, this was a Chromex canister set. There was some issues with it. There was a knob that was broken and one of the lids had a chip and I think there was maybe a dent. Um, I overpaid for this. I paid uh, $12 for this at a thrift store and then when I got it home I realized all the damage that I didn't see. So I was happy to get rid of it for $18.99 plus shipping. Didn't make any money on it though. These just sold tonight, a vintage set of Indiana Glass Mount Vernon um, footed glasses. They have the square foot on the bottom, which made them kind of cool. And these were 39 cents a piece, so sold them for $10.99 plus shipping. I'd had them listed for a while, and I lowered the price uh, down to, I think, $14.99. And then I had a looker, so I, <clears throat> a watcher. So I um, sent them an offer of $10.99, and they took that. 
And these I got at a little thrift store in Central California for a dollar a piece. Origami Owl Charm Storage Cases. I didn't know that was a thing, but they looked brand new and they were a dollar a piece. So I thought, oh, I'll buy those and see if they work. And they did. They sold for $15 plus shipping. These I picked up at a garage sale over the summer. Um, Culebra Boots by Uggs. Um, really nice shape. Uh, $4 is what she charged me. I bought several pairs of boots from her that day. She was a boot hoarder. So I paid $4 for them and they sold for $30 plus shipping. This was from a estate sale. Um, I thought they were Gans, but I wasn't sure, so that's why I put the question mark there. Um, really cute set of measuring spoons. I paid a dollar for them and sold them for $9.99, plus I forgot to charge shipping again. So, didn't make a lot off of that. They, were, they, didn't, they weren't heavy, though, to mail. Um, I got them out for under $4, I think. This just sold today. This was, I took a best offer of $7.51. A little cross stitch kit, uh, seven by five inches. So it wasn't too big. And it sold for $7.51 plus shipping. This I bought, wow. Mm, early last year for $6. And I've had it forever. Um, and Otagiri... A teapot. It was just beautiful. Nothing wrong with it. It was in perfect condition. And I don't know. People just aren't buying Otagiri right now. So um, I've had it for a while and lowered the price to $17.99. And somebody finally bought it this week. And they paid for shipping. This is just a little tin that I got at an estate sale. I don't even think he charged me for it. Um... But once again, I made the mistake of offering free shipping. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to be very careful when I do these listings, but sometimes I just miss it. So this obviously was a listing that I found one that looks similar and I said, sell one like this. And then I listed all my details and my pictures and I forgot to change the shipping. So the buyer got it pretty much. I didn't make any money on it, um, but it was cute and it was super vintage. Who knew shoelaces? I think sometimes I tell myself, I don't know why I pick up the things I pick up. <laughs> I was looking through a basket of shoe care products and I came across these shoelaces and some other shoelaces and they were 50 cents each. So I picked them up because they were new in the package. They look sort of vintage. And I thought that they would sell their leather. So um, I paid a dollar for them. And they sold for $6.99 plus shipping. So I made my money back. Uh, this is a cookbook. And I got this at an estate sale also. And they, it was a dollar. And it sold like, I just listed it this week. So it sold right away for $11.99 plus shipping. This is another uh, vintage pair of socks I found when I found the shoelaces. Um, boot socks. Who knew? I didn't know that they made boot socks. But uh, I paid $1.95 for these and they sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Uh, garage sale Levi's. I, I went to a garage sale in town and all of the Levi's were her husband's and she was selling them for $2. So I picked up about five pairs of Levi's and this was one of them in really good condition. 511 stretch dark blue jeans. They sold for $13.99 plus shipping. These are more of the shoelaces that I picked up when I was getting shoe care polish and cleaner um vans skate shoes the skaters love their shoelaces so um these are brand new in the package for 50 cents and they sold for 3.99 plus shipping 
uh, the second pair of Mack Weldon shorts that I picked up the same day I got the other pair, I was able to get a size large and a size medium, and this one sold for the same amount as the first, which was $28 plus shipping. If you ever see Mack Weldon shorts, get them because they resell very well. Uh, this was from that barn farm sale last year. Um, two boxes of this full sparkle window cleaner. Uh, I stuck them in a box that was $10 for a whole box of stuff. So I paid hardly anything for these. Uh, they gave me an offer of $13 plus shipping. So I accepted that. These were great. Boggs um, women's rain boots. I wish they were my size. I would have kept them. Um, but I got these at an estate sale, one of the last estate sales before the shelter in place order. I paid $4 for them and they sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And they're, they're really cute. Very cute. Another pair of skate shoe laces, Etnies, new. These sold for $3.49 plus shipping. I took a best offer on those. I paid 50 cents for them. Um, I think we already saw the Mack Weldons. Actually, okay, I guess I must have shown the same picture twice because this is the size large that sold for $27.99 plus shipping. My mistake. This I got at the bins. It was a brand new Sephora um, toiletry makeup bag and I knew that it was brand new because the zipper still had the plastic on it so it wouldn't get scratched up and it was from the bins it cost pennies and I sold it for six dollars plus shipping this was also from the bins uh, brand new with tags dan skin molded cup uh, sports bra uh, really cute didn't pay much for it from the bins it was under a pound so I know I paid probably a dollar for it. And I took a best offer of $9.25 plus shipping. These I've had for almost a year probably. Also came from the grocery store sale. These were $0.50. Cents and I think I've only sold two of them out of 12. I still have them. But finally this one sold today for $2.99. I kept lowering the price to get them. Oh, I have nine more left. There we go. I've only sold one. So $2.99. I just want to get rid of them at this point. They take up room, you know. <clears throat> this came from a beauty bag that I got. Uh, Evan Healy Whip Shea Butter for the Lips. It's um, really nice and pricey. I, I picked up the shipping for this and I paid, you know, hardly anything for it. It came in a beauty bag, so $10.99 free shipping. I follow a YouTuber. I love him. His name is Harry Tornado. And one night I was watching a video of his and he said, you've got to sell these webcams. People love the webcams right now. So I knew that I had an old one and I sure enough dug it out of a death pile and listed it and it sold like within one hour of me listing it so thank you Harry Tornado um, I love your videos man uh, $19.99 plus shipping this I've had forever I paid 25 cents for it uh, it was on a clearance rack at the thrift store it was really cute but I don't know just I don't think I, I was able to photograph it very well but it sold finally for $5 plus shipping. <clears throat> this is um, one of the perfumes I picked up at uh, um, an estate sale. And I had it listed for about $59, I think. And I just kept coming down. I've had it for a couple months now. So it ended up being sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And I paid... $4 for it. Uh, Lucky Brand Jeans. I guess they're just not like they used to be. Um, I got these at the bins, so I know I paid a couple dollars for them. And um, they used to sell so good for me, Lucky Brand, but 
it slowed down quite a bit. So I was happy to get $20 for these plus shipping. Uh, these were vintage Disney mugs. I have this one, the Pooh one, which sold, and I still have a Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs one. Um, they're vintage, really cute. I paid a dollar fifty for these instead of my normal dollar for a coffee mug. So seven ninety nine plus shipping wasn't so bad. This I've had for a while, a Starbucks barista bear. Who knew that Starbucks made plush? I did not know this. But I did pick it up for under a dollar at um, St. Vincent de Paul. And it, she was brand new. She had the tag on it. I thought she was super cute, but it did take um, a good six months to sell, I would say. $7.99 plus shipping. <clears throat> Tins. Here's another tin. Um can't remember where I got this but it sold for ten dollars plus shipping and I'm trying to think where I got it um I can't remember if it was at an estate sale or not anyway um I know I didn't pay much for it so ten dollars plus shipping was really good and it it turned around pretty fast it sold probably within two weeks Okay, so here's a great story. I was going to, I made a little video about it, but then I haven't uploaded it or looked at it since. Um, since we can't go out and source product, um, one night, actually it was last Friday night, I was up late about one o'clock in the morning and I thought, I'm going to look at Craigslist and see if anybody's having like a private sale where they would let you come in and you know maybe they were going to have a garage sale maybe they were going to have an estate sale and they can't do it because of the stay-at-home order but I thought well I'm going to look and see if there's anything like that and I happened to see this ad for everything was free and it was from six days prior so I figured uh, it's probably all gone she had some really nice pictures of stuff and so I thought, well, I'll reach out to her. So I sent her an email and said, if you have any of this stuff, I'd be happy to come get it. Um, it, was, it was about 35 minutes away from where I live, almost all the way to San Francisco. So it was just in a town outside of San Francisco. Um, and she had four grocery bags and a box out there for me. So I went there and picked up all this stuff and it was all free. So this I listed, I think last night, and it sold right away for three ninety nine plus shipping. And there was a there was a bunch of books about alcoholics, so you know there might have been a struggle there in that family. <laughs> but anyway, um, I had heard from another eBay seller that you know the big blue book and alcoholic kind of books sell well, so. I kept them. I threw some of the stuff away that she had left for me, um, but a lot of it I kept, and a lot of it was really nice stuff. So, anyway, that sold, and it was a fast sale. Uh, this I've had for a little bit. It was a brand new shirt, Noble Outfitters, which I never heard of that brand, and when I looked it up, it's for, like, um, cowboys ranch hands, um, farming, uh, these are the, this is one of the brands that they like to wear, um, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try, I only paid four dollars for it, and it had some, a little bit of soiling on the bottom front, but I noted that in the sale, I don't know if it was deodorant or what, but it was brand new, and I didn't want to wash it, and remove the tag so I just said it has a little bit of soiling here and it sold for $15.99 plus shipping. It did take a while to sell it though. Uh, North Face uh, men's hoodie was a snap, quarter snap up, army green, really nice. Uh, retails for $45. I took a best offer of $22 just because of what everybody's going through right now. 
I figured uh, this person probably really wanted it. So um, I just took his offer. Can't remember where I got it, though. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Maybe Salvation Army? I'm not sure. $22 plus shipping. And that's it. That's what sold. Um, it was quite a lot of items for me. Uh, and you should see my house right now. It's a disaster. I am getting rid of my desktop, which I use just for home stuff. And I bought a new laptop, and I'm going to be using that, getting rid of my desk, getting rid of all that stuff. And I've put in um, floor-to-ceiling cupboards for storage, and I'm going to just have a shelf in my storage area to keep my laptop and my iPads. I have two iPads and a laptop now. So I'm going to keep that all in storage. I'm going to put my printer on the sh same shelf, um, put our modem on there, and then the, all the rest of the cabinets will be full with um, eBay inventory and shipping, you know, the, my shipping things I need. So... Anyway, that's it. It's late. I'm tired. I hope everybody had a good day. I hope everybody had a good Easter. And um, remember, I'm switching my channel over to Brand Name Closet. And not Vintage Hippie Shop anymore. I did not sell anything on Etsy this week. So, wah wah. And that's it, you guys. Have a really good night. And I'll see you soon with a Death Pile unboxing. I think that's going to be my next video. Thanks a bunch and peace.